Here in the UK, we're very fortunate that we don't live in an active earthquake zone, as Britain doesn't lie on or near any fault lines. It's not usual for the UK to have earthquakes or even tremors at all. However, there were many tremors back in 2019 with the commencement of fracking for shale gas in the Blackpool region of Lancashire. Thankfully, a ban on this activity was put in place and Mother Nature rewarded us by restoring stillness and safety to the area once again. There are regions around the world where earthquakes and tremors are very frequent. Some of these areas would be Central Asia, Turkey, Greece, Italy, and of course, the most active of all, the Ring of Fire, which consists of the west coast of North, Central and South America, and across the Pacific Ocean to Japan, and downwards to Indonesia, the Philippines and New Zealand. Being mindful and working in harmony with Mother Nature is the responsibility of all of us, collectively and individually. If we consider Mother Earth to be a giant living being, which must be treasured, loved and cared for, just like many ancient cultures have done before us, then it makes it easier for us to be mindful. Consider for a moment if you would like to be prodded poked about, burnt, poisoned, polluted, and have holes blasted into the side of you to take out what lies beneath your skin? No, of course not. And you'd probably give warning signs to the perpetrators to stop, or you might retaliate against them. Well, that's exactly what Mother Earth, Mother Nature, Mother Gaia, Pachamama, or whatever name you choose, is doing. The planet is saying enough is enough and we all need to listen. With recent events in Morocco, our hearts go out to all people that have been affected. It's wonderful to see the government and people of Gibraltar offering practical help and assistance in whatever way is needed. Relations and ties run deep between the two countries that are only separated by nine miles or 15 kilometers of water, giving rise once again to the saying, love thy neighbor. Unfortunately, Morocco is no stranger to large earth tremors and has a recent history of them, not forgetting events in Agadir in 1960. The Atlas Mountains in Morocco sit directly on the boundary of the African and Eurasian tectonic plates which is generally thought to be low in seismic activity. However, history has shown us that the surrounding areas of these plates can be at risk. The ancient Roman town of Belo Claudia on the coast of the Gibraltar Straits was very prosperous, but experienced two earthquakes circa AD 60 and circa AD 280, which left it abandoned and in ruins. The Albaran Sea, a small portion of the Mediterranean Sea, near the coast of Morocco and Melilla, has experienced quite a few tremors recently, with the largest being 5.2 in magnitude, only last year. Why do we take risks where there are fault lines and a history of earthquake activity? Why do we build high-rise structures on land that can become unstable? I'm reminded of the story of the three little pigs. All their houses were made out of different material. Two houses were destroyed, but one remained intact. Please let's be mindful when we build, lest we become like the little pigs.